students, today I'm going to demo the kind of painting material or surfaces I use for oil painting as well as watercolor. Um, this first surface is from Brusso and this is a very cheap material and I like using it sometimes just for like small demos or color theories. And the good thing about this paper is it's very robust and it's cheap. So if you want to try out something uh, and you can see the kind of texture it has. So the only thing I find bad with this is it has a unique grain. Uh, it has a continuous stem, like I think it's machine made, that's why it's that way. So if you do not like that kind of a material, you can go for another type of paper that I use. So the other type of paper I use is the arches. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's for oil only. And this is cold pressed paper. And here is how it looks. It's basically, it's beautiful paper. It's a 300 um, gram paper, which is heavier paper. So the more this value is, the heavier the paper gets. It's really good for uh, oils. I've tried uh, made lots of painting on this, and this is amazing. And it's made out of pure cotton, and it holds the paint really well. So these are the two types of paper I use for oil painting. Uh, other than that, I also use pre-stretch canvases like this one or even like rolls of canvases. There are different kinds and types of those. Uh, this is just something you can use, put paint on, uh, make a beautiful painting out of and just put it on your window or any wall. And the other one is this. This is... Uh, a really expensive but amazing quality product it's from art fix and it's actually all oil, oil prime and it's really smooth surface so this is another kind of a canvas roll I've used a lot of it so it's just this much that I got and I use these two things other than that I sometimes also use and really prefer and love this something called Amphysand, it's a gesso board. It's like a board and which is having a layer of gesso on the other side is just ply But this ply is really good quality and it stands for a long period of time. It doesn't get destroyed So these are the three things I use one is the board the other is uh, Canvas stretch panel mm. stretch canvases versus just loose which I can later on um, stretch if I want to and the other things are papers. So, this is the oil supply. Other than that, I also use and paint watercolors. So these are my watercolor supplies, which I will walk you through. And uh, if I'm traveling, I use a moleskin, and which is just like a nice travel book. I've created lots of uh, paintings in it. And the paper is really good quality and this is moleskin watercolor paper it has a bit of a texture but it's amazing it holds the color really well and it, it doesn't warp on the side so it's still like square and it doesn't come out on the other side it's really good quality paper so if you want to use it for travel purpose you have the small one um, this is another thing I got this by Gamma it was really cheap thing I got in Poland and these are like blocks so they don't come out the good thing about that is you can paint on it and once you're done painting you can just use uh, maybe like a scale you can use scale and just it's open from one side so you can just start taking the page out and that prevents a lot of warping and that's why I love these blocks these are like really small blocks uh, the other block that I use is again by Ashes and these this is this one is um, hot pressed i'll tell you the difference between the two in a minute and this is another amazing block same thing it's like a block and uh, they are not loose pages they are like one thick block uh, you paint on it and then from here you see here you can take it up so uh, these two papers look different and the reason is i'll show you if i can zoom in on this hope you see it the quality of the paper in the hot press paper is really smooth so if you really like painting on smooth quality no texture paper choose the hot press one and the other is the cold press one which you can see it has grains 
I hope you see it. It has like grain, it has a texture, and that's also amazing for water watercolor as well as oils. And especially is watercolor though. But this is good if you like some texture to your paintings. But they both are really good absorbents. Uh, there's no other difference other than that. So these are the blocks that I use. These two are blocks. Uh, the third thing I use is just loose paper again by Bristol and uh, this is again cheap quality watercolor paper that I use. This is just same thing. There are lots of loose papers which you can use, tape it down with uh, on a panel and you can paint on it. And the third thing I want to talk about is the paper that I use for drawing and I am very much fond of Stratmore and especially the medium surface one and the surface is so good that I have painted so many times I usually take uh, and uh, practice master drawings and you can see this is not actually pencil this is uh, this is not graphite sorry but it's uh, another quality of uh, pencil that I've used and I use this paper just to copy all master drawings like just drawing from the old master, I take a photocopy of it and I just place it and it's really thick if you feel it. It's amazing. So I love this paper and that's the third paper I use. Other than that, I sometimes also sketch in like, for sketch I use random things. So if I have just paper, any normal paper, which is not that thick, I use it for sketch, but I don't use it for any other medium. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. and. Uh, Ask me if you have any questions. Thank you.